Hello Squiddles and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the Austrian Audio OC818. Now when AKG uh, removed their production facilities from Vienna, Austrian Audio has arisen from the ashes using uh, some of the same facilities I think and, and many many of the staff. The, uh, the team have put together in short order two microphones. Um, this is the uh, higher uh, end one, the OC818, which as you can see from the front, uh, you can see there's a set of controls on there, which uh, mean it's a multi-pattern um, microphone, um, uh, very much in the in the lineage of the AKG414. They have um, they are using a CK12-ish capsule. I say it's a CK12-ish. They've totally revamped it um, using uh, advanced materials like uh, ceramic surround and so forth, um, and um, also poured in a load of high technology goodness as we shall see. But first, um, a close-up of, of that front panel. At first sight, the OC818 looks to have pretty similar controls to any high-class large diaphragm condenser microphone. Um, across the top bar, you can see a polar diagram select, and at the bottom, two separate switch banks, one for pads and one for high-pass filters. Let's start with the polar diagram select. On the far left, you've got figure of eight, then you've got hypercardioid, following that a rather interesting looking cardioid setting, then an omni, and finally a mysterious black blob. And it's the cardioid and the black blob, I suppose, that uh, should generate the most interest. And that's because of two features that um, the OC818 offers. The cardioid setting um, speaks of the fact that you can get at the output of both the capsules. Um, and I'll show you how in just a moment. But uh, coming with the mic is a small 5-pin to 3-pin XLR breakout cable. That plugs in around the other side of this microphone. And then you can be recording um, both outputs of the capsules simultaneously, which allows you to do some very clever things in post-production when using uh, the Austrian Audio uh, Polar Designer plugin, which we'll have a look at in a moment. If you move the switch all the way over to the right, to the black blob, that is the, um, uh, the select position, the pre-select position. And in that mode, you can uh, control the OC818 remotely um, if you plug in the Bluetooth remote control, the OCR8. Now that's another £150 or whatever it is, and you'll have to balance up whether that's uh, the right thing for your workflow. But um, uh, having the app on your iPad uh, or your Android device allows um, a really large measure of flexibility in that position. Leaving polar diagrams for now, um, the other two settings are pretty bog standard. One offering um, uh, pads of uh, minus 10 and minus 20 dB. And in the minus 10 position, they reduce the voltage to the capsule, I think, and that uh, takes your, um, your your maximum dynamic range up to, I don't know, 150 odd dB. So it's a very, very, very high spec microphone. The high pass filters offer quite a high degree of flexibility. And again, this, these and the, um, the pad settings can be controlled from within the remote control application. And one thing I should know, I suppose, is that all the controls are on the front panel, which saves you diving around the back for half of them, um, you know, when you come up close to the mic. And uh, that's got to be a good thing. Well done, Austrian Audio there. Here is the back of the OC818. And you can see there's a port there with a nice little grey plastic cover. And on the right, you can see the OCR8 uh, re Bluetooth remote control. Now, hold steady while I uh, grab that. Now I'm going to push back the cover and uh, insert the uh, dongle. And then the blue light flashes. And voila, you have remote control for your OC818. And how cool is that? Now while we're back here, why don't we have a look at uh, how we access that uh, second capsule. So first we'll remove the uh, Bluetooth remote control. And remember, that is an optional extra. You have to pay for that. Whereas this little cable comes uh, free with the uh, OC818. It's got a 5-pin XLR that plugs into that socket and a standard XLR out, which carries the output of that second capsule. And if you record those two capsules on separate tracks, you can use the Austrian Audio Polar Designer plugin, which allows you to alter the polar diagram in the mix. With the Bluetooth dongle connected, 
we can fire up the application. Now the first time you do this you need to enter the serial number of the dongle as a security measure to make sure just not just anybody can um, alter your settings. I've already done that so we'll go into um, control and uh, now we can see that the, uh, the diagram is in figure of eight and that uh, tallies with what we've got set down here and we can pick up the uh, uh, pick up the slider and look at that lovely choice of polar diagrams over to there and I'll just swap hands so you can carry on seeing that and we go through there right out to full uh, Omni and uh, at the bottom here you can see this moving bar is uh, reporting on the audio level it's not really a, a meter as such but it will turn red if you uh, over uh, cook the, the the capsule so I've got the um, uh, mic in my hand I'm just going to try and do that now mind you normally it might be difficult overload and uh, you can see you can see it's not an easy mic to overload overload there you go um, and uh, now we'll um, uh, just check the other two things you can um, adjust the high pass filter down here and you can adjust the uh, the um, the pads on there and um, once you've uh, set up the settings that you want then you can um, uh, disconnect the dongle and that position on the, the, the that uh, preset position on the microphone body will will restore these uh, particular settings which of course is uh, a great feature so there you have it that's the app on the ipad just the app on the computer to go and we'll have seen most of what the oc818 can do here then is austrian audio's polar uh, designer vst plugin running inside uh, Wavelab and um, here you've got the available polar diagrams remember you're, you're creating these by combining together the recorded outputs of your two capsules and here is your frequency band split at the moment if you look up here I've only got one band enabled and um, I'm going to just change that point you can see it changing there the polar diagram I'm going up towards a nice wide cardioid and then I'm uh, thinning it a bit I'm getting towards uh, uh, hypercardioid and then out the other side and now I'm at figure of eight and a uh, very clever thing is I can actually turn the microphone round if it's uh, um, a cardioid that's a forward facing cardioid but as I go down past Omni I can now turn the cardioid round the other way and you can see down here that there's um, a quick selection box for those things now if I was very very clever I might say well I'm going to have five different bands so I'm going to have um, this band here is, a, is the mics in cardio and this one here these two here it's in Omni and I could change that I could say oh I think I'll have that one in figure of eight um, and then this one here I'm going to put into uh, maybe a bit of a hypercardioid and um, a back down for an Omni for the last frequency band so it's a very very flexible um, approach to um, deciding your polar diam and of course you've got full control over this in your mix afterwards when there's not so much pressure you can make the right decisions it's um very very cool there's some automatic stuff down here that uh, terminates spill or or maximizes the target signal you know try them if you like but you can basically hear what you're doing um as you're changing the um the polar diagram um in any case uh, uh, very very handy thing that's a free download from austrian audio and of course your mic will come with a cable so you'll be able to use this uh, right out of the box well, that's a lightning tour of the Austrian Audio OC818. Now, if you like the sound um, and more of the sound in another video when uh, I'll compare it directly with a, an AKG414, but if you like the sound, um, but you don't need all the facilities, there's a cardioid only version, the OC18, at uh, about a third less money, I think. Better check at your local retailer. This is a great mic. It features traditional engineering, traditional know-how, and mixes it up with some leading edge technology so do get to hear one if you possibly can if you're in the market for a thousand pound a thousand euro uh, microphone um, so that's it for this week thanks for enjoying uh, ppm6 tv i hope you did enjoy it and do come back soon bye for now